So, Nintendo is coming out with this new game, and how do I personally feel about it? Uh, uh, you'll find out in this video. Hey everybody, so Nintendo has lifted off the wraps of a new game they're coming out with, and it is called Ring Fit Adventure. Where exactly, why is the game called that? Well, basically, Ring Fit Adventure at its core is basically an adventure RPG where this bodybuilding dragon, I'm not kidding, that's what Nintendo says, named Drago is has brought the world out of balance, and basically now you gotta go fight a bunch of bad guys. How do you fight these bad guys? Basically by doing fitness moves with these two different controllers. The game comes with a what a ring-shaped controller, or what they call the ring con, as well as this leg strap, and you attach your Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons into each of these controllers. And basically, you defeat enemies by doing a whole bunch of exercises with these controllers and I'll show you some of the different moves you can do here. Literally doing things like yoga moves, moving the controller up and down, squeezing, squeezing it with your hands, even squeezing it between your legs. How do you defend yourself against these monsters attacks? You literally press the ring con right up against your abs. And even doing things like even the walking in this game, you accomplish that by basically jogging in place with the ring con. So <laughs> it's yeah, it's literally a very fitness focused adventure RPG. The game is coming out on October 18th and it's going to be $79.99, literally 80 bucks. So I'll be honest, this is usually not the kind of game I would usually talk about on this channel. The only reason I am is mainly because Nintendo's been hyping it so much. So I figured out, I'll just talk about it here. And I'll be honest, it does look like a pretty fun game, but it also looks like a kind of kind of exhausting game. Like, if you yourself, if you're interested in getting this game, it looks exciting to you, especially if you want to buy this for the fitness factor, or you know, you want to get a really good workout out of a game like this, then more power to you. I'm looking at this more so from a sort of gaming sort of perspective, like, you know, playing it as a game in myself. And I, I just don't know. It does look like a fun game, but at the same time, it looks like a very exhausting sort of a title at the same time, which I understand, yes, you know, it's it's like Nintendo is making this more of a sort of more targeted towards things like fitness and that sort of thing. But just as a game, game on its own, it might be kind of exhausting for my taste. And it's not that I'm anti-motion based games. Like I was a really big fan of the Wii when that was when that came out. You know, I enjoyed playing games like Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, Excite truck and warrior wears move moves oops and i did play you know a bit of we fit but uh not as much i really got into more of the games that um used more of the Wii remote but i think in those games because you only really use motion in like very uh specific at only like really specific times and even then it wasn't always it didn't always involve you know getting up off the couch like i know warrior wears move moves a lot of the games you know Oh, some of the games, you know, really require getting up, like, uh, getting up and doing stuff. Like, I remember there was one of the boss battles was this really crazy dance game. But most of the time, a lot of the Wii games I enjoyed basically only involved really doing, doing some really simple stuff. Like, you know, when you, like in Wii Sports, for instance, if when you went bowling, you know, you were just basically, you know, swinging the Wii mode only when you needed to go bowling. When you were playing baseball, you only swung the Wii mode when you were up to bat or when you were playing golf you only swung when you know you were up to t you know with games like those you know you didn't have to you know like get up and you know even just doing the walking involved you know a lot of moving around and that sort of thing i would still give ring fit adventure if let's say for instance i go over to gabby's house and a lot of her friends are really into playing the nintendo switch themselves so if they did the thing where they bought this game for the sort of you know fun factor and they were like you know oh this kind of really really um interesting game we finally got this and you know you should try it out in that kind of a case i would give it a chance because it does you know look like an interesting game or if somebody were to say get it for me for like a christmas present i would still give it a chance it's just that for me not only um not only does it look like quite an exhausting game but just also nowadays 
is I don't get to play, you know, video games as much as I want to. And especially, you know, a game like Ring Fit Adventure, or it, you know, it looks like you need, you know, a decent amount of space if you're going to be, you know, moving around the ring con and jogging, you know, a lot and that sort of thing. I'm just like, uh, I'm not really sure if I'd really get much use out of it. But that's just my personal opinion due to the things that have been going around, you know, in my life. And that sort of thing since I became a much busier person compared to back in the days when I had the when you know when I was playing you know a lot of the Nintendo Wii games so that's just me personally again I would still give this game a chance if somebody were to like give it to me as a present or if you know like one of my friends wants to buy it, you know just to play for fun because it's because it does look interesting I would still give it a chance it's just that me personally, I'm not really sure if I get like everyday use out of it. But if you do yourself, like, you know, if you want to get this for fun or because you do you think that, you know, hey, it looks like, you know, it's going to be fun and hey, I could, you know, burn some calories doing this. Something that I should have mentioned earlier is that um, um, the game can actually, you know, track, um, it can estimate how many calories you burned and even the pulse rate. There's literally a part of the ring con where you put your thing, finger on it and it can measure your pulse. So it kind of reminds me of the Nintendo Wii Vitality Sensor. You might remember it was this accessory that never came to be. It was announced by the late Nintendo president Satoru Iwata. So just me as a, as a person who's been a Nintendo fan for years and has been learning about the company a lot. It, it is a you know kind of nice wink I would say. Like it's kind of neat that hey they finally found a use for this thing. They sort of found a use for the thing that Iwata you know announced a long time ago. So that's kind of neat. I just don't really know if I get much use out of it. If somebody were to, you know, give it to me to try at like a party or as a present, I would give it a chance. I just don't really know if I could really commit to using it. And also the price, $79.99, is kind of, is kind of steep, I would say. And I know um, for a lot of my audience of Switch games, at least a lot of the, you know, AAA Switch games are like $60.00 is already a lot to ask for for some people so i don't know but if you think you can get get some use out of ring fit adventure whether for the fitness factor or for the fun of it and you know much more power to you let me know your thoughts down below are you interested in ring fit adventure or would you try it out or are you not really interested in this game leave all those thoughts down below until next time this has been bloodman bobby and thank you all for watching hey guys i hope you enjoyed this blood moon bobby video like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell to get notified when I release my latest videos. Follow me at Blood Moon Bobby on your favorite social media platforms to take part in polls, see my tech tips, and to hear about my video plans. Thanks for watching.